welcome to a new vlog. I'm so happy to be vlogging again. I feel like I haven't done like a normal vlog in a while. I feel like the last bunch of videos that I've done have been like Disney vlog, morning routine, like, I don't know, like more specific like themed videos, but this is just gonna be, I'm so sorry. My dishwasher is so loud, um, but it's like doing its thing and I don't really wanna interrupt it. I've got the dishes going, I've got the laundry going. I'm having like a productive, tidy up kind of morning, like just, you know, housewife thing. <laughs> So as I was saying, this is gonna be a very normal day of my life type of vlog. I wanna show you a bunch of the new houseplants that I got, I'm so excited about. We've been wanting to get houseplants for a while and I just like haven't been, I don't know, like there's not a lot of cute plant stores where I live, um, but I found one and I'm very excited about it. So got a couple new houseplants I'll show you. I love watching houseplant videos cause I'm really into them. So if you like plants, <laughs> you'll probably not find it too boring. I wanna show you my incredibly comfy and cozy um, outfit that I'm wearing today. I think I got this jacket in like February or March of this year and it was on clearance at Target for like $10 or something crazy. So I absolutely love it. It's just this really cute neon pink and it is so unbelievably soft and it's very, very lightweight, which I love because it's not actually, like it's very warm, but it's not like too warm to like wear around the house all day. So I really love it. And then I've got on this really, really cute romper that I am obsessed with. I kind of want to get it in every color. I think it comes in like one other color actually, but it's from Urban Outfitters. I actually got it because I saw Kristen Johns wearing it in one of her Instagram posts. And I was like, uh, that's the cutest thing ever. I need it. She was wearing it with a really cute like brown um, high neck, like turtleneck long sleeve under it and it looked so cute like that so i've actually been on the hunt to find like a cute little brown turtleneck to wear under it too because i'm a copycat <laughs> but i have on my little free people like crop top sports bra kind of thing under it and i don't know i just feel very cute and comfy today this morning i discovered my new favorite spotify playlist it's so so good it is disney piano peaceful piano covers it looks like this. I feel like this is a new thing that I'm like sharing my favorite Spotify playlist with you in every vlog. This is just the sweetest playlist. It's all like very calm, peaceful Disney piano covers. I love it because it has a really good mix of like really popular like classic Disney songs and then more like obscure ones that you wouldn't really know but that kind of sound familiar. So I don't know, I just think it's so, so good. This is kind of the vibe. I'll play like three seconds for you so I don't get copyrighted. If you like classical music and if you like Disney, you will absolutely love this playlist. It's just so, so good. I will link it in the description so you can check it out. Okay, I think I'm gonna make some breakfast now, maybe some avocado toast or something. Um, oh, let me actually show you what's in my fridge because I did a huge Trader Joe's haul a couple days ago and we've already like eaten a bunch of the stuff but i feel like i should just show you because i was thinking about doing a Trader Joe's haul but i had so much stuff that the haul would have taken like two hours i feel like to film because it took me like 45 minutes just to unload and like put everything in the fridge i don't know if that's interesting to you i personally love like a fridge tour and like seeing what people have in their fridge and like their staples and stuff just because i'm like nosy and i like getting ideas um so maybe that will be interesting i just remembered that this is the vlog or i'm gonna announce the sephora gift card winner which is very exciting in case you missed it in my last video i announced that i was doing my 50 dollar Sephora gift card giveaway for reaching 1,000 subscribers. I just think it's kind of a fun way to celebrate like hitting a small milestone. So that's what I'm doing. Thanks so much to everyone who entered. You guys are so sweet and so cute and I really appreciate it. So at the end of this vlog, I'm going to randomly select and announce the winner. Okay, let's go see the fridge. Okay, fridge tour coming in hot. Like I said, it's not like, it is organized for my standards. I know some people have like, proper like plastic boxes and like cute little bins and things that they organize and maybe one day I'll get there but at this point it's just not happening. I don't want to make this too long so let's just get right into it. Oatly obviously is a staple. We get the regular original and then the full fat. I like to use this to make my lattes and this is for like cereal smoothies like everything else. Josh and I love this pure pineapple. We usually get the organic one but I guess it was not available. And then we have cranberry juice. We use these for like cocktails <laughs> also in our smoothies just for a nice little pick-me-up. We'll mix this with coconut water. This is my favorite kombucha flavor from GT. This is the Mystic Mango and then Josh loves the strawberry serenity. I've been really working on getting a lot of like good probiotics in my diet so um, I also have this harmless harvest dairy-free yogurt this is so good I love like tart tangy yogurty things it's like very liquidy so I'll put this in smoothies or just drink it by itself it's 
delicious. And then I've got these dairy-free yogurts that I actually have never tried before, but they're from Trader Joe's and they just looked pretty good. Um, this is really random. I got it because I was thinking I would use it in my coffee as like a coffee creamer, but it's actually not that creamy and not very sweet, so it doesn't really work. But it does taste pretty good by itself. It's just like a maple tasting milky beverage kind of random i have been taking this stuff for a couple weeks now and i absolutely love it i think it's really helping my digestion in the mornings um, i take it like it's the first thing that i have every morning and i really love it. it tastes really good and like mild it's not too sweet or anything or like a strong flavor but it's very good i really recommend this stuff if you've been interested i will link it in the description just some organic free-range eggs and then this i don't know why i have this in here it's been in here for like months um it's just the martinelli's sparkling apple cider i really don't know why it's in there but anyway okay we've got a lot of stuff down here this is I am assuming gonna be amazing because we had a butternut squash version of this last night for dinner and it was so good. And Josh and I love truffle, so we got these. Um, I've got some pickles back here. These Grillo's pickles are the best pickles in the world. I've definitely spoken about this before on another vlog, but this is the most delicious, easy meal in the world. And the soya udon teriyaki flavor noodles, they're so good, you guys. I get them at Publix. Um, I know not everywhere has Publix, but in the Southeast, you can get these at Publix. I got some sauerkraut. I actually haven't tasted this one yet, um, but you know, probiotics. I also just really love sauerkraut. These are some of the most delicious vegan sausages. They are smoked apple sage. By the way, this is not how I normally like to store my soups. I usually would have like a real lid for this. I'm usually not the kind of person that like has mismatched Tupperware and stuff. Like I'm usually pretty good about keeping it all together, but for some reason couldn't find the lid. So this is what had to be done. But this is a really, really good sauerkraut soup that my sister-in-law made. It's very delicious. It has like a ton of veggies and potatoes and sauerkraut which I love. I think I was just like really hungry and in a weird mood when I went to Whole Foods because I got these almond milk chocolate puddings that I've never had before, but they're actually a really nice little sweet treat after dinner. Obviously, Rayo's vodka sauce. I love everything that Rayo's makes. They are amazing. I just got this organic plain hummus from Trader Joe's and then a Kalamata olive hummus from Trader Joe's. I love olive hummus, it's so good. Some green grapes, some fresh black figs. I love figs so much, I actually had two of these and I already ate the other one all by myself. I actually got these so that I could make some um, peaches and biscuits last weekend, but I never could find a good ripe peaches. So I've just got the biscuits. This is definitely like a weekend treat that we like to make. So maybe this weekend. And then over here, we've got some beer and LaCroix. So this is the Howling Gourds. I think I showed this on my Instagram recently, um, but it's actually so good. I didn't really have much expectation because I'm not a big beer person, but I do enjoy a pumpkin beer obviously and then josh likes to drink this modello sometimes um and then we have good and gather which is our favorite we actually like good and gather which is target's brand of sparkling water even more than Lacroix. sorry this is like such a messy fridge tour but we have some mango and passion fruit Lacroix, which josh loves now in the drawers this is more of like the healthy section i just have a bunch of greens in here i've got baby spinach baby arugula and baby kale and i just got all the trader joe's like pre-washed um ones because they're just so much easier some lemons and limes. Over here is kind of like the naughty cheese and dairy cabinet. Cabinet, drawer, drawer. I have such a hard time saying that. I'm keeping a couple apples in here just because I have so many apples um, sitting out on our little fruit bowl and I just feel like we're not gonna eat them all that fast. So kept a couple in here. We literally never have cheese like this um, in our fridge. We have mild cheddar and shredded mozzarella. Um, literally never keep anything like this in our fridge, but we saw this really interesting looking recipe on like TikTok or reels or something um that called for this type of cheese so i will keep you posted if we make it it's just like crazy like rigatoni pasta cheese bake with vodka sauce and it looks unbelievable so josh and i were like you know what let's just get the real cheese we have a big hunk of parmesan some crumbled feta for salads every once in a while this is another weekend treat pretty much only for the boat like if we go on the boat we'll bring this hell of a good dip and it is the most delicious thing you've ever tasted in your life i don't know what they put in here but it's something very addictive and magical and it's so good with chips so that's just like a special naughty boat treat typically this drawer is just full of like olives and fancy cheeses and spreads and things like that to make like a cheese plate um so we've got this peachy or smoky peach jam, which is actually so delicious. I put this on a fig and rosemary cracker and then put some goat cheese on top and it's really fabulous. Blueberry vanilla goat cheese from Trader Joe's, which is so good. 
and that's everything in that drawer and the bottom drawer are all of like the fresh veggies and herbs and things like that so we do keep our onions and garlic mostly out of the fridge but when i have like a lot i like to keep a couple in the fridge just because you know they stay fresh longer so we've got onions and garlic this is sage thyme and rosemary we like to cook with a lot of fresh herbs i've got fresh ginger root for cooking with and also to like make ginger tea um organic zucchinis, organic broccoli, uh, a beet, and some mushrooms. These are kind of random because I already used up like the other beets and the other mushrooms. So I just put them together. Some white button mushrooms, organic celery, and some organic free range chicken bone broth. And then back here we have a ton of giant cucumbers. I've been on such a cucumber kick lately making like tons of um, cucumber fruit salads which have been so delicious. And that's everything in the bottom drawer. And now for the fridge door. So on the left door, I like to keep all of my like things for coffee or like drinks. So I have my creamer. So this is a pumpkin spice creamer. And then this is a maple caramel creamer. These are both really, really good. And they're obviously dairy free. I have this coconut whipped cream, which is also dairy free. It is pretty good, but I prefer the Ready Whip coconut dairy free because it's just not as sweet. And this one is like almost a little bit too sweet. Then I have my organic maple syrup. Um, this just gets so messy. I really prefer the ones with the lids that like flip up, you know, instead of untwisting because they're just a lot cleaner. And then up here, I have these Ningxia red packs. I actually got these from Young Living a while ago and I've been like slowly drinking them. Sometimes I'll put them in a smoothie if I'm doing like a fruity based smoothie or I'll mix it with LaCroix and ice and make like a nice little cocktail out of it. But they are packed with antioxidants and they're really good for you. And then up here is like the secret stash. Literally a secret stash of like Chick-fil-A sauces and like random mustard. I don't know why that's in there. But we've got a bunch of like Chick-fil-A is all honey mustard and ranch. I didn't really know where else to put these and they just kind of fit in this weird little compartment. So I just shoved them in there. It's definitely getting a little bit too full. And on the other side of the fridge, okay, obviously we've got a lot of condiments in here. We've got this organic garlic that's like pre-chopped, which is nice. Sometimes I'll use this if I'm in a hurry. We've got some olives. We've got vegetable bouillon, veganaise. This is really random, but this is just like a facial spray that I love. It's coconut mint. We've got jelly. We've got miso paste. This is like such a mess back here. We've got some hot sauces over there. Um, up here, we've got ketchup, mustard, more hot sauce, teriyaki sauce, all the sauces, soy sauce, and then all of these like really fancy truffle infused hot sauces I felt like they needed a better display in like the front row because they're just really pretty <laughs> and we also forget that we have them if they're back there these truffle sauces are honestly so good they come in three different varieties the white truffle black truffle and like extra hot truffle but they're all truffle infused and they're really really good on like pizza pasta I don't know, I've actually only ever had it on pizza and it was really good. Up here, we've got peanut butter in the fridge and I would not normally keep peanut butter in the fridge but it actually says on here to keep the peanut butter in the fridge. And then we have this amazing cream cheese. It's dairy free, it's like a cream cheese alternative from BioLife. BioLife makes some of the best dairy free alternatives I've ever had. So we have that. And then over here, we've got all of Josh's perfect bars. These are so good. I actually got this pumpkin spice one for myself to try. I haven't tried it yet, but these milk chocolate peanut butter cups are so, so, so good. It's already open because Josh probably just, you know, ate one of them. Lastly, finally, we've come to the end of this. We have got some Kerrygold butter. Love Kerrygold. Earth Balance because you know we gotta have a balance real butter and fake butter <laughs> but this is a really really good butter alternative um, we like the organic one and then this you guys has like truly changed my life um, pumpkin cream cheese spread I got this because um, one of my like Instagrammy YouTube friends Victoria hi Victoria if you're watching this she posted about this before and it just looks so good so had to try it out and it truly does not disappoint. I have this on a pumpkin spice bagel. Um, I put it on apples, like it's so, so, so good. And then I just have this dairy-free tofuti sour cream because I like to put it in my chili. Um, that's pretty much the only reason why I bought that. And that concludes the fridge tour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got some ideas. And that concludes my little fridge food tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it wasn't too boring. I know that I personally, like I said earlier, really enjoy this kind of content. So hopefully it wasn't too boring and I'm not just like a weirdo. Hopefully you got some ideas, some inspiration. Maybe you want to try some of the things that I showed you. By the way, 
These are the bagels. Well, were the bagels. I ate them all. Gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. Um, this was also a recommendation from Victoria. Josh and I have been eating these like every day. These are seriously so amazing toasted with the pumpkin cream cheese on them. So I highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's near you and you like pumpkin things, go get it. I promise this is the last food thing I'm gonna show you in this vlog, but I also got this organic multigrain oat bread from Trader Joe's and it is so good. It's like really, really soft and really good when you toast it. So anyway, very excited to tuck in to my avocado toast. Obviously I had to put the everything with the bagel sesame and just a little olive oil, mold and flaky salt and a squeeze of lemon juice. It's a little bit later now and I got ready. I actually changed into this like long dark green cardigan that I got from Target a little while ago. It's very comfortable and it's just a little bit more weather appropriate for how hot it is in Florida right now than that big fuzzy pink coat is. So I'm heading to my chiropractor's appointment that I'm so excited about. I'm trying out a new chiropractor. Wish me luck. I've been looking for a good chiropractor for like ever and ever and ever. Anyway, I'll see you after my chiropractor appointment. <laughs> Hello, it is several hours later now. I am back from the chiropractor. Overall, it was a great experience. I really like the office, very professional. I liked my chiropractor, but there are three chiropractors that work there, and I saw one of them today, um, and she was really great, but I think I wanna try like all three of them <laughs> and see which one I like the best, so I'm already scheduled in. I'm already scheduled in for Friday to get adjusted by one of the other chiropractors there So I did my adjustment with my chiropractor and then you go and do like all these stretches and other exercises with a physical therapist Which is really cool and they have you like lay on this like massaging waterbed and all this stuff It's like really really cool. So I did enjoy it and I think I'm gonna keep going there um, I just want to try out both the other chiropractors and see like who's the best fit for me Okay, I'm excited to show you all my little house plans. I still need to get a few more like pots for some of these plants like cute ones okay i want to start over here this is like our kind of entryway storage cabinet basically we keep our shoes here a couple random books my hair and makeup stuff here because our bathroom has terrible lighting so this is where i get ready every day you guys probably know that from my vlogs i love having this plant here i feel like it gives so much life and color and cuteness and i am obsessed with this um pot it's so cute it's actually hangable you're supposed to hang it up but I couldn't figure out where I wanted to hang it in our house. But I think it looks just as cute just sitting there. And also I couldn't really figure out where I wanted to hang it in the house. This is actually a philodendron. Actually, it's two philodendrons. I bought them separately. Um, but they were both quite small. So I just put them together. And the lady that owned the plant shop said that that was actually really good and healthy to do. Like philodendrons like to live together like that. But it's a little bit crowded in here right now. But I feel like as it grows, hopefully it'll get like more spread out but it's already grown since i got it like a week ago so that's very exciting and i love how cute and like heart-shaped these are eventually this will be like growing down really long excuse all the shoes there um but i think she's so pretty so yeah that's my little philodendron baby now moving over here we have this really cute little tiny cactus and i love it so much i have not put it in a new pot yet but I do know what I'm gonna put it in. So let me actually go get that and show you. I'm planning on putting the cactus in this beautiful container. This is actually an old candle that we just finished burning up. I need to like properly clean out all the wax because it's probably not gonna be good for the cactus if it's soaking up the wax. Um, but it is the Sire Truvedon, like really, really nice candle. I think it'll look so beautiful in here. I have never owned a cactus before and I'm just obsessed with this little guy. I think he's so cute. So this one obviously needs to be repotted into a cuter pot, um, but I love the way that this one looks. I think it's so cute. I like the big round leaves. I can't remember the exact name of this, so I'm gonna have to pop it up on the screen for you guys, but I know it has the word obtuse folia in it, which is fun <laughs> because of the round leaves. I think that he is gonna live on my kitchen counter. Don't look at the mess in the sink. Um, I think this is a good spot for him because he gets like plenty of light and yeah. He's a cutie. Okay, moving on. This is nothing new. We've actually had this for like a year, but I think it's so pretty and it's always growing so much. So shout out to you. Okay, this one might be the most exciting plant that I got while well, my knee just cracked. Um, it is a Monstera and it doesn't look the happiest right now and I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, it's probably too dry. It feels kind of dry. Okay, I'm gonna water this one today, but I popped it in this cute little like 
woven basket. I think it looks nice, but it is a baby monstera. So they say that the more mature the plant gets, the more slits it will get in the leaves. But the lady that I bought it from said that um, these actually do grow pretty fast. So it should only be a couple months until we start seeing it like getting bigger and getting more cute little holes in the leaves because I think it looks really cute. I'm not sure what happened here, but that looks kind of sad. I think it was like that when I bought it, hopefully. I'm gonna insert a little photo of what these plants look like when they're big and mature because you will totally recognize it. But I thought it would be fun to start with a baby and like actually see the progress and like be so satisfied and excited and proud whenever it actually started growing and getting little holes in the leaves, so. I'm excited about that. I really do believe in this little plant and I know that it's gonna get big and beautiful one day. So I just realized that I only really had like four new plants to show you for some reason. I felt like there was gonna be a lot more. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it's cause I got like more pots, and like decorations and stuff from that store. The plant store that I got all of my plants from is called Ruby and Rest and it's one of the cutest plant shops I've ever seen. It's absolutely full of plants and like really cute decorations and succulents and like all kinds of stuff. It's in downtown Winter Garden and it is so cute. I highly recommend you go check it out if you live in the area. I got like two more things from there so I thought I would just show you while I'm at it. So I got this from the plant store as well. It's so pretty. I already had these like cattail things um, which are really cute but I did not have like all of this like fluffiness or this big cute fluffy thing. And I popped my cute little pine cones in here too. I just think it looks quite cute and it just adds a lot of like softness and texture over in this corner. It's getting kind of dark in here, but I feel like you can kind of get the gist. It's very pretty. And then over here, my mom actually put this here and like put these in it. I got this little adorable pot and saucer from the plant store too. Um, I just think it is so cute and it came with this little string So I'm just like leaving it on there because I think it looks cute and my mom actually set it on top of our water cooler Which I would have never thought to do but I think it actually looks really cute over here And these are actually just some artificial eucalyptus sprigs from Target and I actually think it looks like a cute little olive tree or something. Um, I really like it. But I think that this pot is just so gorgeous and I think I'm actually gonna go back to the same plant store and get some more of these. So that is everything that I wanted to show you regarding my new plants and all the things that I got at the plant store. Um, but now it is time to pick a winner for the Sephora giveaway. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do this. So since I'm still quite a small YouTuber, I am able to go through and like manually put in everyone's names who entered so i'm going through all of the comments on the video of people who entered and left their instagram handle um and then i'm going to my actual instagram post and i said for extra points if you go to my instagram and comment on my latest photo um i will give you extra points so which means i'll just like enter you in twice so i'm going and picking all of the lovely humans who commented both on my instagram and entered on youtube and i'm adding them in twice but i think i'm almost done so let me just make sure i got everyone in there before i click the wheel to spin it. This time I'm doing like a spinning wheel and then whoever it lands on is the winner. Okay, I've entered in all the names and now I'm going to click to spin. Okay guys, I'm gonna press the button. It's gonna spin the wheel and we're gonna see who wins, okay? Three, two, one. It's spinning. Why does this make me nervous and I'm not even like gonna win anything? Oh my gosh, it's my friend Victoria. I say my friend. She's like the girl I was literally mentioning in this video. That is so cute. Okay, we've never really met in her life, but she's like my Instagram YouTube friend. Victoria Mazzoni has won this giveaway, $50 for Sephora. Congratulations, girl. I hope that you enjoy it. Josh's phone is going off. Okay, this was super fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry if you didn't win. Hopefully I will be doing lots of fun giveaways in the not so distant future. Thanks for entering. Thanks for supporting me. And thanks for following along. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the videos and the content. If you have any ideas for any like fun videos that you wanna see me do, maybe like me and Josh together, um, or any like more specific content that you wanna see from me, always open to ideas so just comment them below and i love chatting with you guys in the comments it's like one of my favorite parts of my day i'm just feeling really grateful and excited that we have hit this little milestone and i'm excited for what the future holds for my little channel i'm just rambling now so i'm gonna see you in another video very very soon josh and i are gonna film a fun little video and that will probably be the one up after this one i will see you in another video very soon